Oh my god, it is day five, learning Korean, and a uh, bit of a, it's like a blizzard snow storm. I should note that I was, one month ago, oh my god, I was living in Barcelona. What have I done? <laughs> oh, this should be a fun day. Let's go on an adventure, shall we? On est venu euh, au centre-ville euh, Montréal parce que je crois qu'il y a plusieurs restaurants coréens ici et donc je pensais que ce serait bon, intéressant et amusant de venir euh, bon, essayer de, de lire les signes et les choses comme ça, les noms des restaurants. Euh, personnellement, bon, j'ai mon déjeuner ici donc je vais garder d'argent mais euh, voilà, on verra. Il fait très très froid. <rire> euh, mais voilà, on verra. Donc euh, on va visiter un peu la ville de Montréal. Mamma mia, fa freddissimo. Io non so neanche qual è la temperatura, ma non so, deve essere meno 10, meno 5, 15, io non so. Ma sono sicuro che non, ho, non sono stato mai così freddo nella mia vita. Le mie mani sono davvero gelate. Ah. Ma una cosa che mi piace molto qui a Montreal è che ci sono tanti tanti posti di bon, tanti caffè eh, dove si può bere un caffè, lavorare, ci sono, c'è, c'è sempre wifi. E in questa strada qui che si chiama Rue Saint Catherine ci sono tanti posti asiatici, per esempio c- eh, qui c'è Kinka Isakaya. Eh, Isakaya Ma poi c'è tam- <ride> c'è, <mien. ride> c'è anche Kampai e Kampai in giapponese vuol dire cheers Kampai Kampai E poi ci sono tanti ristoranti dove si può mangiare sushi uh, La cucina coreana Io creo, credo Quindi sì, è davvero bello Ma adesso Davvero le mie mani sono ah, freddissimissimissimo Quindi io entrerò nel, nell'ufficio e poi andremo a guardare alcuni ristoranti coreani per eh, provare a leggere, a leggere. Ah. Ok, so I'm now here inside what we're just going to refer to as the office and um So I was outside and I really wanted to try to film some video outside for you guys so that these would be a bit more varied and have more scenes and be a bit more interesting. But as I was recording that last video, my hands went from being sort of like a bit chilly to literally freezing to the point where they were quite badly in pain and I couldn't film anymore. So I had to stop the video uh, before I could finish. Um, I'm not kidding, when I came inside my hands were literally quite badly in pain. Um, I'm a bit traumatized. Um, I think we're going to be studying Korean inside, perhaps, for the rest of the day. Okay, I am warmed up and much happier and ready to go over <laughs> my uh, to continue working. So, um, real quick, yesterday was uh, pretty good, but I had a lot of work to do yesterday, so I wasn't able to dedicate um, too much time to my Korean. So I just got through lesson nine with the subject and topic marker particles in my talk to me in Korean course. Um, But I did find something amazing. Many of you might know Memrise, the website. It's basically like a much more modern version of Anki, for those of you who know Anki. It's like um, flashcards with a built-in SRS system, space-time repetition, and it's just a nice way to review and learn many things, not just language, through flashcarding and uh, sort of that sort of thing. And some wonderful, beautiful, amazing, lovely person has made a memorized course containing all of the vocab and phrases and everything else from the entire set of Talk To Me In Korean courses, one to nine. This is what I do myself anyway. Very often I'll be studying a, um, like a YouTube series or a drama or a film or anything and I take lots of notes uh, and then I'll put everything into Memrise and I'll review it. It gives me a very quick and enjoyable way to review what I've done and sort of internalize it. 
But the key is I have to have done something first, therefore there's context. So it's not just an, a random flashcard deck. It's stuff that has meaning to me. But this has already been done for me with Talk To Me In Korean. So now I have a very fun and easy and enjoyable way to review everything I'm learning in my course. And so I'm very, very, very happy. So this morning, I was back at the cafe at 6.30 in the morning. I was a bit behind schedule. And I did some studying, but not too much because I had to start working a bit earlier. And so most of what I've done so far today is listening. So I listened to about three lessons in Talk To Me In Korean. Um, and I got to say, I learned a lot. I learned how to say, like, I have, I don't have, there is, there isn't. Please give me, uh, can I have... Uh, and I learned how to say like thank you for th thank you for the meal before and after and various things, but I have to say it was all audio, so I did get a bit saturated. So on the bus into the city, I was doing the memorized course and reviewing, and I feel really good about that. So um, and now I have to get back to work, so I gotta continue working now for a few more hours, um, and then I think after that I'll go get a nice coffee at uh, another cafe just on around the corner and I'll get back to my Korean. So my goal for today is to basically review what I did yesterday and to really try to go through in detail everything I listened to this morning. That's my goal. Um, it was quite a lot, so we'll see what happens, but if I can accomplish that, I'll be pretty happy. And uh, yeah, I'll be ready for tomorrow. So, all right, I'll get to work now and I have my little humble peanut butter sandwich, peanut butter jelly or peanut butter jam. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you soon. <clears throat> Bloody hell.